Hello, all my followers and subscribers out there. Tanner from Tanner's channel here, and I'm here to do a review of the movie Venom 2. Let there be carnage. Now, it's been a while, like a month, since I reviewed a movie, and that movie was with Caleb Funk. And I saw this movie too with Caleb Funk, but I've been a little busy having fun with him, so I saw the movie two days ago. And how are you guys all doing? And I'm doing very well. In two weeks, we, I officially begin Man of No Importance performing it at the Performing Arts Center where MCC is. But this is my last week of rehearsing it in the music building out on campus. But then next week, we're going to be doing it at the PAC. And okay, I saw Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage on Saturday night with Caleb. And fortunately he can't be here, so sorry, it's just me. I was excited for a sequel. I mean, I liked the first Venom movie. I know some people were saying it's okay, it's scary, I mean... Yeah, it was a scary movie, but I'm going to say the sequel was twice as scary. Someone's here, you can hear the chimes. So. Because the villain was played by Woody Harrelson. His character is a serial killer who becomes Carnage. Though I liked Woody Harrelson's performance because I love him in the movie now you see me haven't seen the sequel and he was great in Tobi as tobias beckett in solo a star Wars story and i was glad venom had more funny lines because he had funny lines in the first movie though there was a big surprise during the post credit scene that i thought was unexpected not gonna tell you what it is i'm not spoiling it But yeah, I would have to give this movie a 4 out of 5, or from a scale from 1 to 10, an 8. Because yeah, Venom is a scary movie. This movie had a whole lot more violence than the first movie did. But I thought it was a good sequel. I still think the first movie is better, in a way. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave good comments. And I say farewell. Wish me luck on what I have in store.